Hi everyone and welcome to another video. Today we'll be painting a banana pattern, but not just a banana pattern. This banana ripens when the water gets colder and we're starting right now. So I chose this blank to paint a banana because it's a nice wobbler, it's easy to fish and it already kind of looks like a banana and it has no texture. So where does this superstition of the banana on a boat comes from? Why do people believe that it could bring bad luck when you're going out fishing? Well there are a few theories and some really date far back. The banana superstition dates all the way back to the 1700s when many lost or ill-fated ships were noted to have been carrying bananas to their destination. Another theory is that banana boats moved too fast to fish. Because boats hauling bananas, these boats were moving at high speeds in order to reach their destination before the bananas would be spoiled. So because of this they didn't offer fishermen enough time to land the catch they were waiting for. Another reason why people think bananas could bring bad luck is because of spoiled fruits. Bananas were a source of bad luck for ships carrying other types of fruits as well. Bananas give ethylene gas, which can cause fruits to ripen faster. So this unintended result might be a source of concern for ships looking to turn profit on fresh fruits. Another reason why bananas could bring bad luck on boats is unwanted stowaways. Many people over the course of humanity would fear unwanted stowaways like venomous spiders, snakes and other critters who would could be lurking in their bananas. Those who had heard tales of boaters being bitten by these feminist creatures would naturally be a bit hesitant to bring a bunch of bananas on board. And as a finishing touch I'm gonna glue on a sticker from a banana and now it's ready for a clear coat. Alright, so let me show you the fun part of this banana. So now the banana is above 15 degrees and as you can see it's just normal banana but when it gets colder our banana is gonna start rotting and that is pretty fun and pretty cool too the colder it gets the darker he gets Also the room temperature really has an effect on it. So if I leave it in there for a little longer, get it really nice and cold. We could say this one is really, really ripe, depending on how you like your bananas. And if you put them in warm water, it immediately disappears. Another quick little tip I want to give you about using pigments is that it's much easier if you blend your pigments with a little bit of reducer first because it's gonna spread evenly and it's not gonna clog. If you blend your pigments with paint or the, the medium you're gonna use it's usually a little thicker, it's gonna clog very easily. If you only use reducer to blend your pigments it's gonna spread nice and evenly, it's not gonna clog and then you can add your 40-50 or 40-30 afterwards. As always, I will leave a link in the description down below for all the materials that I used in this video. This will guide you to my webshop and if you would buy anything there, you would be supporting me and the channel. If you got any questions or ideas or you just want to share some knowledge with the fishing community, leave them in the comments down below. Thank you for watching, have a nice day and see you next time. Bye bye.